Louisa, the dreaded topic of gastric ulcers. Um, me, personally, my experience with my horse, uh, he just sort of lost weight suddenly. It was quite quickly, I hadn't changed his feed, he was having adequate feed, and just getting quite nervous at pre and post competitions. What can other horse owners like me sort of expect to see signs and symptoms relating to ulcers? Yeah, so um, changing in eating habits is really common. <laughs> <laughs> um, they might also see changes associated with ridden um, exercise. The horse might become uncooperative um, or he may just not be performing as well as, as what he had been. Other signs might include becoming sensitive to touch, dislike being groomed, become girthy, dislike being tacked up. Negative behaviours associated with seeing the tack is common. Yeah. Um, I think what it's really important to acknowledge is that the signs we now commonly associate with gastric ulcers are not specific to them. We can see horses dropping weight with problems like liver disease. We can see bad behaviour when ridden when horses are lame. So we really must push for a diagnosis. Okay, so it's fair to say the signs and symptoms aren't straightforward and Definitely clear. Definitely not, no. So, for example, then you want to go for your gastric scope. Do you have to do that? Why can't you just treat for ulcers? Another really good question. So um, what we know now is that the, we're treating two different types of ulcers in the horse's stomach. They sometimes require different medication and to be treated for different lengths of time. Unless we scope the horse in the first place and then during and at hopefully at the end of treatment as well, we're not going to know if we have successfully treated and eliminated those ulcers. If we stop that treatment before they're fully healed, they're going to come straight back. Yeah. So getting the right diagnosis is really important. The other thing we should say is all of those signs that we reeled off, we can see, we can, we can have horses that present with those problems and their stomach is completely clear. Okay. So you might be treating unnecessarily. Also, some horses might have very, very mild signs. So it may be as simple as they're not quite so keen for their breakfast or perhaps he's not performing quite as well as he used to. And they can have really severe ulcers. So for horses like that, presumptive treatment might mean that you're treating unnecessarily or you're not going to provide enough treatment. He might need a lot more than what you're going to offer.